Welcome back, Alfred. How can I help you? I'm inside the stables of the Royal Palace of Uruk. The Mother Queen ordered a chariot, a charioteer, and a horse available to me. Unfortunately, it's impossible to tame that horse, and there are no other horses available. Impossible to tame? There are no untamable horses, Alfred. You just have to find the right bridle. The right bridle? Exactly, Alfred. The right bridle. Just like the golden bridle that the goddess Athena bequeathed unto Bellerophon. The Greek hero was able to tame Pegasus using that bridle. Read the book Sisyphus and Bellerophon. Look for Bellerophon and ask him to give you the golden bridle. Go now! Waste no time! Bear my words in mind. I'm sure they will help you. I have no further questions for you. I'll get back to my mission. Go now! Waste no time! Oblivion is already on the move. You must stop him before it's too late. Good day. Good day, stranger. How can I help you? I'm looking for a man named Bellerophon. Bellerophon? The grandson of Sisyphus, founder of Corinth? Yes, exactly. Do you know him? Of course. He's famous in these parts. He offered his help to free us of the Chimera, a terrible monster that terrorises the inhabitants of this land. He promised that he'd kill that infernal beast with the help of the gods. I was with him until a few hours ago. I guided him there to the foot of Mount Olympus. I think he's planning to climb the mountain to reach the abode of the gods. I really need to talk with him. Can you take me back to where you left him? Dude, are you seriously asking me to go back to the foot of the Holy Mount? Yes, please. It's a matter of life and death. Well, even if I wanted to, I can't. At the moment, there's a slight problem. A problem? What kind of problem? My donkey, Achilles. He refuses to walk. I've been stuck here for ages. As you can see, it just isn't going to happen. The damn donkey just doesn't want to move. I need this like I need a kick in the head. Tell me about the Chimera. The Chimera is a terrible monster that has been terrorizing the inhabitants of this land for quite some time. It has the head of a lion, a goat's head arising from his back, and a tail tipped with a snake's head. Oh, and it spits fire from its mouth. It is said that the Chimera is one of the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, and a sibling of such monsters as Cerberus and the Lernaean Hydra. Oh my god! Judging from the description, it's a hideous monster. You can say that again, dude. Luckily, Bellepharon offered his help. He promised that he'd kill the infernal beast, it seems he has a plan. I really need to speak with Bellerophon as soon as possible. It's a matter of life and death. Can't you think of any other way? Unfortunately not, dude. Nothing can be done except to wait for my donkey, Achilles, to get moving on his own. 
but I can't wait. I can't wait on the whims of a donkey. Usually he gets going again after a few hours, but today he's more stubborn than usual. Maybe he's afraid of the Chimera. As you can see, it just isn't going to happen. The damn donkey just doesn't want to move. I need this like I need a kick in the head. Thanks for the chat. You're welcome. Hey, Papan, what are you doing here? Hey, dude. What a pleasure to see you safe and sound. What am I doing here? After your escape, the High Priest fired me. I ended up unemployed, so I went to the Sport Association of the Sacred Palota game for a job. Luckily, they were looking for a custodian, and so, here I am. How's your new job? The pay is not that great. The High Priest used to pay me more. But I'm so much happier now. I hated my old job. I hated having to cut the throats of the Pelota champions. If it wasn't for you, I never would have found the guts to re-enter the job market. I'm so happy for you, Papan. Thanks, dude. What exactly does your job as custodian of the playing field entail? Basically, I'm in charge of maintenance, and if there's nothing to fix, I just stand here. I make sure that none enter the holy field without proper authorization. Luckily, I don't have to kill anyone. I'm done with all that. No more violence. If you don't have to kill anyone, then what is that spear for? Well, I don't really need it. They are given out to all as custodians. But to be honest, I never want to wield a weapon in combat ever again for as long as I may live. Do you want it? It might come in handy. Not for violent uses, though, obviously. Take it as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Papan. You don't need to thank me, dude. That's it. 
It looks like a fishing rod. Maybe it could come in handy. That's it. It looks like a fishing rod, with a carrot as bait. I have an idea to get that donkey moving. Really? Explain away then, dude. A fishing rod with a carrot. Interesting. You know, that could just work. It works! Sheer brilliance, dude! Here we are, dude. That guy over there is Bellerophon. I don't know how to thank you. Well, dude, give me this carrot fishing rod and we're even. With this, I can finally keep this damn donkey plodding along. Of course, it's all yours. Thanks, dude. Good luck. <laughs>